Okay, welcome back to this next chapter of Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Clan Quest Mod Edition. We have started the sewers, the most infamous part of this game. Every game has to have a sewers level. It always sucks, and this game has the worst one of all. Um, so, we pretty much beat the first map here. It's broken into quadrants. So let's just get uh, started on the next part. Hmm. Nothing, like, there's all these puzzles and stuff here, none of it makes any sense. There's a good chance I'm about to die. Get, you get thrown into these chopper blades, and they slice you up. So actually, I should probably save my game now that I think of it. Um, so this one, it's like you have to swim out of this thing, and it's something about the water pressure is too great, and you can't get out. I don't know. I don't work in a treatment plant. But we gotta catch this ladder or we die in those things. Boom. No problem. And of course there's more some easy things down here for us to fight. Oh boy. Uh let's see. So if I remember correctly. Oh, it's the next room. You gotta throw a barrel in. Throw a wrench into things, as they say. Yeah, there it is. There's probably going to be more. So you take this and you put that right there. See that? You're done. Blocked it up. Real good. He can live. <laughs> you don't actually get experience points for killing stuff in this game, so there's really no incentive to kill everything. But there is a fuckload of those things in this part. I remember that. Let's see. Gotta get across this way, but there's like 15 of these guys or something. Let's see. Let's see two. I just got done saying I don't need to kill them all, and I'm just looking for trouble. Let's just continue. Blood heal. We do have to do the Steve's evil quest to find the other pipes. I know where they are, of course, but you know. One of these takes you where you want to go, the other doesn't so much. I can't remember which one it is. That wasn't what I wanted. Alright then. Oh, he's just chilling there. Okay. So we come out over here. And right, so okay, the next part of Steve's Evil Quest, the next drop-off point is right, right, is it the other one? It's one of these. It's this one. No, that one's a door. Yeah, these, these things are kind of touchy. You can't just make anything a container, really, but I did anyway, so it's a little tricky to find it. So, let's see. You've poisoned two water supplies. Great. Oh man. Okay. It's like hard to drink a drink and play this at the same time. Normally there's just a bunch of people talking at me and I can stop every once in a while. Uh, also, it really bugs me that this guy essentially gets just turned into a giant human... What's the word I'm looking for? F flashlight! Not flashlight, that's something else. Oh, now that I mention it, it sounds like something a Simisi would make. <laughs> Uh, okay, so. I think I could. I take a shitload of damage, but I can climb up this. That was okay. I thought Blood Shield used to, like, turn off at a certain point. This just seems to go on forever. Um, let me see. This is the stupidest puzzle of all. I remember I was trying to get my good friend to play this game, and he was like not really into it, because he'd gotten me started on so many RPGs, and then he got to this part, and he was just like, dude, what the fuck is this? Like, what am I doing in the sewer? Why am I fighting these monsters? And this puzzle doesn't make any goddamn sense, and I was like, I'm sorry, it's true. Um, okay, so turn that off. I think that just shuts off the electricity, so if we need to come back up, it's not so grisly. Um, Let's see. This is just the hacker way of doing it. So if I remember right, 
you press this and then you just like run and that's the puzzle. Let's see how I do. Yeah, you gotta get through this before the... Is it even working? Did I do it wrong? I think it's like the opposite. You press it and then... Right, now it's safe, but... That's... I clearly should have practiced this first. Oh yeah, here you go. So you have to swim before the fan comes back on and pushes you out. And you have like just enough time to do that. Okay. Boom. And there you go. And you're done. And you gotta swim. That's the nice thing about being a vampire, right? You don't have to worry about drowning. <laughs> don't need air. They did that in World of Warcraft too. If you played an undead character, you could just swim like pretty much forever. Alright, here we go. How comes the nonsense cutscene? monsters. Let me see, how, what's the best way to deal with this guy? Is it blood strike? I need to, I need to get blood. He ain't, he ain't giving anything up though. Can I blood purge him? No. This could be a problem actually. <laughs> Let's just get that ready. Oh, it's easier than I remember. Here's the next drop point for the quest. Let's see. Portable biohazard lab. Plunk. Yeah, I do need blood pretty bad. This is bugging out. Okay. Let's see here. I had this idea before I filmed this episode that I was going to narrate and talk about the different clan quest quests, but I kind of feel like I'm actually engaged enough that I I can just narrate about what stupid thing is happening in the sewer rather than go on about something bad. Um, let's see, which way is it? It's just up here. Right, I remember now. You own this thing. There's just a bunch of guys that jump out of here. Yeah. Final drop point is this one. I have to get it because there's monsters coming behind me. Uh, clunk. So it says, you poisoned all the water supplies. You should find Steve and tell him about this. Fantastic. I will do that. I have like zero humanity by the time I'm done. Uh, let's see. I think there's another way around this, but fuck it. Fuck it, doing live. And then we gotta fight this thing. So this cutscene got improved in the unofficial patch pretty dramatically. This guy, but what's he doing here? What's this guy looking for? He's just chilling out in the sewer. Whoa. That's some horrible shit there. Boobs and they're all ugly and she's mad and her womb got cut open. Alright. Should we fight her? You don't have to, we could just run away. You know what? I'm feeling cheeky. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I was feeling cheeky. Um, you sleep. Nothing is gonna work on this bitch. Ah. Oh, fuck. Is it blood heal? Where is blood heal? Can I fucking blood strike this bitch? I can! Oh, look at that! Someone should fix that. I don't think blood strike is supposed to be that effective. Um, 
I'm like really low. I'm gonna take a blue blood pack. That's the good shit. Yeah, I should tell Wesp that um, I was kind of looking at uh, all the different ways that you can deal damage. Like, there's ways to control how NPCs take damage. This came up recently when I was working on the mod. And I just feel like there should be something that can be done so that you can't just hit that once blood strike and she dies. Because that was too easy. I thought it was going to be a tough fight. Uh-uh. Where do I go? Just keep going. Yeah. So this next part's super boring. Um, I guess I can talk about the clan quest quests a little bit. Um, I'll tell you which ones I like and which ones I don't like. How about that? Um, the Bruja quest is pretty good. The premise isn't bad. The setup, like, the insertion is, like, non-invasive. Um, doesn't really conflict with the rest of the game. It's very optional. You don't have to do it. Um, and it's difficult. It's very fitting for a Bruja. The part in Chinatown isn't so good. I need to fix that at some point. Um, I'm open to suggestions. Then, let's see what else is there. There's Gangrel. Gangle Crest is pretty good. It's sort of a change of pace because uh, the other clan quest quests are supposed to be about like the jihad and the different clans sort of like warring among each other. And that one's really just about um, doing a favor for Beckett research. Um, but it's there's some, there's some opportunities for combat, but it's strictly not a combat quest, which is a little uncharacteristic for Gangrels. On the other hand, you look at someone like Beckett, and then that makes more sense. But it's an okay quest. There's still some voice acting that needs to be done for that. I need to find a Nox and an uh, Asian Quajin guy. Mm. Let's see. Then there's Smell Caving Quest. See, here's my problem with Clan Quest. I love, obviously, what I've done with the game. I love what you've done with the place. But, you know. Malkavian is everybody's favorite, and it's the weakest of all the clan uh, clan quest mod quests. Ah. The setup is stupid. The execution is stupid. Um, then I tried to add it like an off-camera cutscene, so you can see Therese or Jeanette killing Bertram, and uh, nobody liked it. People thought it was dumb. Fuck off. having some dire straits here. Holy shit. Figured as soon as I'd start yapping, the game would get challenging again. Uh, yeah, now Caving Quest, kind of a letdown. Sorry, everybody. I fucked that one up. I feel like at some point I should go back and do a new Malkavian clan quest. What I was trying to do is achieve this thing I've read about in the source books where Malkavian sort of mysteriously come together for some specific purpose. Um, but I don't think I really hit the nail on the head. Kind of, kind of failed on that one. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. For sure, unless I can take this right now. Oh, thank god. It's a bit of a hack, but I really didn't want to reload. On the plus side, I killed that thing frenzying, so that's kind of cool. Um... Anyways, continue on. Nosferatu quest. Um, this one is pretty good, I would say. The setup is good. The execution is not bad. Uh, the only thing I'm really not proud of in that quest is the David Hatter voice acting. It's me. <laughs> it's just me. And I had a shitty microphone, and I was rushed to do the line, and... Ah, oh, it just sounds so bad. I should go back and try again and fix that one. Um, but yeah, overall, it's like, you know, taking Vesuvius or VV down a notch. That's that's a cool idea. Because the Nosferatu, they got beef with Toreador. Um, speaking of Toreador, there's the Toreador quest. Um, it's pretty good. I was actually 
testing that one again recently for the 3.1.2 patch. And um, this part never makes sense to me. Like, what is this guy doing? And uh, where am I going with this? Yeah, the quest isn't bad. There was some bad voice acting, and I'm happy to say that I fixed that. So, oh. oops, I mean to hit her. What happens if she lives? Does she just start attacking me, and she just chill. She's just like, oh hey, what's up? That's fine. Oh, and then she, where did she go? It used to be she would just run up and die instantly, and that would give you the impression that the Nosferatu were really worn against these Sumisi people. Yeah, she just disappears, I guess. I'll take it. Obfuscate and all that. Uh, yeah, Toriyo Quest is like, eh, it's not bad. It's not great. It's not the best one. It's pretty good. Oh, Jesus. Another one. Uh, then there's the Tremere Quest, which we're going to see here pretty quick. That one's really good. It's funny because when I was, it was the last one I made. It's the one I had the hardest idea coming up with. I knew I wanted the Tremere to sort of war on the Milkavians, but I didn't know how or why. And the setup is a little weird, like Strauss sending you to go Diablerize uh, Therese Foreman is like a little goofy, but the execution for those of you who played it is pretty boss. I think everyone agrees it's one of the better Clan Quest mod quests. Um, and despite all of the dialogue, it's one of the f only ones that's like fully voice acted, so that's great. Um, but we'll see that firsthand here in a very shortly forthcoming episode. Uh, then you got Venture Quest. Uh, this one originally sucked a lot. It was stupid. I mean, the, I always felt the setup was good, like the prince getting you to work out the details of a hit on an Anarch. That makes sense. It's good. I like it. Um, but the execution originally was really bad. Um, it got better when I got help from one of the voice actors that I worked with originally, and he helped do some of the writing. And that was one of the quests where he wrote, rewrote like a bunch of the lines. And it was... It's pretty good now. Um, I still need a voice actor for the, excuse me, the Asimite. But other than that, it's a pretty solid clan quest. You also have this like continuation effect where you can possibly get this Sabat guy to come and help you in, in the final fight against LaCroix at the end of the game. And with everything that's going on with CQM 4.0, like I honestly don't know what to do with that. Like. It sort of conflicts with what else I have planned for that part of the game, so I'm thinking I might just conveniently pretend that it just doesn't exist or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so here we are. We're at the Nosferatu Warrens. Um, oh, just one other little side note. All the Clan Quest mod quests are great, but still probably the best one is the Kuei Jin quest we'll see in Chinatown with Kalyan. And I'll talk more about that later. We're almost out of time. But, um, yeah. In spite of all my efforts to make this clan quest mod, the quest that anybody can get that involves a Kuei Jin is like, still the best one. <laughs> uh, let me see. Where do you go? Sort of. Okay, you come up here. And then you take a... Take a right here, that's what it is. Uh, and then of course there's other stuff that Clan Quest mod adds, like the Vigilante Quest and the Steve's Evil Quest, which we just did. And um, they're all pretty good things. I think people really like the Vigilante Quest, especially other mod makers, because it integrates in with other mods quite easily. Um, it's very non-intrusive. Tell you what, I got enough time, we'll talk to him at Nick, and then we'll call it a night. But Nick's a cool character, he's the Nosferatu hacker, and he's based on a real life super hacker, Kevin McNick. Kevin Mitnick, yeah, by the same last name. So let's see what he has to say. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 I hope you're back on that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when 
his mom starts getting the love letters from the porn sites. <laughs> Uh, hello? Ah. Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh my god. This is my. Are you kidding? This is me when my girlfriend's trying to talk to me while I'm working on the mod. <laughs> Trash 80. <laughs> Guys, he's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at his butt. <laughs> um, uh, hey, hey there. how I feel when my coworkers open viruses. Um, maybe I'll just come back later. Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnip. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? LaCroix's boy. I'm surprised you actually made it down here. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about Mitnick is like, why the fuck is he wearing bondage gear like the other Nosferatu? Like, He's a hacker. There's no reason he'd be dressed like that. Yeah. Let's see. Surprised? What do you mean? I'm following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> Chad or Chud? I swear he said Chad. Anyway. Uh, let's see. You saw that? I could have used some help up there. Nothing I could do for me. Those old sewer systems are wired with punch cards and vacuum tubes built back in the technological dark ages. Sorry, but I don't do analog, newbie. <laughs> oh, let's see. What a cop out. I'm looking for Gary. Yeah, who knows why you're here? <laughs> LaCroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, <laughs> sheriff or no sheriff. I'm just here to talk. Where can I find him? His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get a side quest. Alright, I've got a few more questions to ask you. Go ahead. Um, tell me about what you do. Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep a pulse on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the ne network. Upgrading what? What were you going to say? <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like <laughs> I said, just some network stuff. Some network stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right. So what do you have to do? I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. <laughs> Maybe I can help you out. Yeah, you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. Make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. Bro, I just wanted the XP. Um, I'm in. What do I need to do? I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. Cha-ching! Uh, I would ask him about himself. It's a cool backstory, but I'm out of time. So, cool, I'll check my email as soon as I get back. See ya, Mitnick. Yeah, so that's probably a good enough fill for tonight. So, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like, press like. Uh, if you really liked it, press subscribe. And if you're ecstatic, follow me on Twitter because I'll be ecstatic. And uh, I'll see you next time.